This is fabulous wine. It's a shame it's the last bottle. Is it truly the last bottle you've made? Absolutely the last bottle. We kept it for you, Floyd. That's wonderful. When, when will there be some more? Hopefully in uh, September, October, if we get any sun. But today is the 1st of July. We have a fire on, so it's not looking too good. Never mind, never mind. Anyway, let's get down to pigeons, because pigeons, people think, are humble, common, peasanty. How do you persuade them in your fabulous dining room to eat such a thing as they might uh, think is a bit, you know, not too good? Give it a lovely sauce, fabulous sauce, and give it a nice accompaniment also. Also give them a wide choice in the menu so they don't have to eat pigeon if they don't want to, you know? But uh, quite a few people do have it. How do you cook it, then? Cook it. We... Uh, um, start off with the, this is the leg, yeah. and we just chop it up, well actually it's the leg of two pigeons here, but we chop them up, very small, yeah. and um, we saute it off uh, with a bit of shallot and some garlic and maybe a little bit of thyme, and uh, cover that with water, about a pint of water, yeah. a pint and a half, and let it simmer gently for maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Then strain that off, and then you have the base of your sauce. Excellent, okay? we've got that. So then to prepare the pigeon itself, what do you do? You just put butter on it. Not bacon and things like Not that? Not at all. You're in Ireland. It's all butter and cream over here. Right. So we put butter on. Now, how long does that stay in the oven for, then? Um, how long would you think it should stay in the oven, now? I'd say probably 20 minutes. No. Ten, ten, twelve. It's going to come out pink, pink and people yes. are going to send it back. You've got to eat it rare. If you, if you don't eat it rare, you might as well eat this. Here, take it and eat it. The same thing. OK, well, you take it and cook it and pop it in the oven. Will you eat it? I certainly eat it. Okay. Now, I just tell you about this wine. It's a Riesling sort of wine. It's the only vineyard in Ireland. It's called Chateau Longville. It's absolutely brilliant and it's as rare as anything. It's very worth drinking. Nice and close, Sarah, Richard. Okay, Jane, can you yeah, explain right, exactly okay. what's going on, please? Uh, John has is making a brilliant sauce here, Floyd. He's got the um, stock from the pigeon, which I showed you earlier on, and it has been reduced a little bit because it was too thin. And he has reduced red wine. He fried some shallot. He fried some a um, little bit of garlic, and thyme. We're using thyme because we have thyme in the garden at the moment. And um, now he's just uh, beating in some butter into it to thicken it. And to enrich in it. That's absolutely superb. Okay, so well, I reckon see... that pigeon must be ready, mustn't it? Yes, I hope it is. It's a long 12 minutes, so it isn't. No. There we go. Well, see? So you just carve that. Yes. And John will put the sauce on the plate. That's okay. right. Okay. Now, this is just right, Floyd, look. Okay, carve away. Yeah. Oh, it's beautifully picked. Is it That's absolutely no. superb. Can you eat it that way? Yes, I will, I will. Good. I'm going to have to put um, down to that bowl. That's, that's the way it should be. See? Pink. Jane, sorry to interrupt. There's someone at the blinking kitchen oh, door no, there. Oh, no. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. Okay. I am trying to make Thank a television programme, Jane. It is a bit inconvenient. Is it strong? Strawberries. Thank can you. you take these away, please? Please. Thomas, would you ever take these to uh, spinach? I'm okay. sorry about that. That's sorry. quite all right. That's I'm quite sorry. All right. I'm this has to go on. I'm I don't sorry. see why. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't see why well, at all. You can't stop, Flo. I just can't all stop. <laughs> Is that all from the garden, honestly? Yes, everything. We didn't go into town and buy it and bring it to the window just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. OK, get on with it then. John, can we have the sauce, please? Yeah. I think Madame here is nearly ready. Very hard to carve when you're looking at me. You've got it. I have it, have I? You have it. Yeah, I have. Give it, give it one big one there. Okay. okay. Pour the sauce on the plate, please, John. Snap to it. We've got a television crew waiting here. And Richard, you look at that very nicely. You see that lovely, rich, red sauce poured over the wonderful white plate with the pigeon breasts on. And Richard, up to me for a second. Everybody thinks I've done nothing on this programme. Actually, I've cooked the cabbage. It's beautiful cabbage from my three-acre garden here, walled garden, by the way, simmered gently in butter with little raisins in it. Absolutely superb. And, of course, it makes the dish. Now, look at that. A really super meal. Three-handed it was. Magnificent. The humble pigeon elevated to heights of gastronomy you've never seen before. And back up to us again, please, because we want to make a little speech about vegetables. Do you think they really, they really taste so much better going from the garden? Or is that just sort of nonsense? Really? No, it's not nonsense. They have to be better. They, they, that cabbage was growing half an hour ago. And it's, it's beautifully fresh and it'll taste completely different to something that's sitting in a shop for the last week. Here, use the fresh vegetables. Yeah. <laughs>